Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so excited for today's video because we are going to be back in our Medieval Legacy series, but we are starting a new generation. It is finally time for Daisy to shine and for us to discover more about her. So I thought we would quickly go over the Generation 3 rules before we jump into the game. So it shows here, generation three is the merchant. Move out the air into an empty lot and give your sim 22,000 simoleons. If you are using the get to work, your retail store funds will start at 20,000 and you can build one with that amount. So we get 22,000 for our home lot and we get 20,000 for our uh, retail lot. If we completed the bonus from our parents' generation, your parents' experience with catering parties help you build friendly relationships faster. So we have to give her the gregarious trait um, with the cheat. As a teen, build your charisma skill. Okay, so right now she's a teen, so we're gonna focus on charisma um, and just aging little Daisy up. It might go a little fast, like we might have her a teen this episode and have her a young adult in the next one. I'm not too sure how we'll do that yet. We have to have three kids, one being a man. So the heir will have to be a male. Earn money through an art skill. So we've got woodworking, painting, etc. Okay. Uh, we need to buy a retail store that sells things that we've made. Children must have, at the most, a B in school now so they can try a little bit harder in school for the next generation. The heir is a male young adult with the most friends. If two have equal amounts of friends, the one with the highest level in his, her parents' focus skill is their heir. Okay, so bonus, max two art skills. So we have to max out two skills in the art and we also have to have a retail store worth 30000 so I hope you guys are looking forward to today's episode. I hope you guys are looking forward to the new generation. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so everyone is actually sleeping right now. Uh, oh, it looks like Sir Lancelot has woken up. Now, in today's episode, I do plan on aging up Daisy, which means that I'm also going to have to age up Elaine and Lancelot. He is really sad because our one of our little piggos actually first he ran away from home so he's pretty sad about that so today we are going to have daisy's birthday obviously uh mom is going to bake the cake since mom is an amazing cook so i'm gonna have elaine go ahead and fill all the pet bowls and then i'm gonna have her make the fanciest birthday cake i can possibly find so I think I'm going to go ahead and get her to make this black and white cake. It is vegetarian safe, not that any of our sims are vegetarian. Daisy is sleeping in. It is her final day as a kiddo. Now Cody, her cousin, is younger than her, so I won't age up Cody until... Um, after we age up little Daisy um, and I've already gone ahead and I've aged up Jasper that way we can invite him to the birthday party but he's already aged up I didn't have to go do that <laughs> she also made a little friend at school she met this girl here Brenna Mahiai Mach Mahiai um, she met her at school, so I went and I gave her a, C uh, a medieval CC makeover, so I figured that that could be one of her friends. So between Brenna, Jasper, and Cody, she'll have a nice little friend group to help her while she is working on her having a super successful business. Thank you. So we'll put that there. And I'm also going to get her to cook a grand meal. We will do some fish dinner. I will get Lancelot, I suppose, to plan a social event. I'm not sure who knows more Sims, so we might have to kind of play it by ear here. I went ahead and I put a pile of little gifts here, so there's some for her to open when everyone arrives. There we go, a birthday party. Okay, so obviously it's little Daisy, and we're going to invite the Queen, Silas, Merlin, not Rapunzel, Fendril, Arthur, Rosalind, Robin, Hadrian, Little John, Matilda, Cody. Perfect. Okay, so everyone's on their way. She got all dressed up for her birthday. I want her to invite over 
invite to hang out, invite to hang out, and I think we invited Cody already. So everyone is arriving, obviously Queen Evangeline looking amazing as she does. And we've got all of our brothers, everyone is coming, so I'm really excited for her. I wanna go ahead and get one of those serving tables because it makes it so much easier when you have so many sims let's see here i went ahead and i placed this table here that way we will have enough food for everyone and we can probably put the main dish right on top perfect so there is plenty of food for everyone all of our brothers have arrived it looks like dad is getting along with queen evangeline maybe a little too well so little Daisy is out here. I'm just waiting for her friends to show up because I think she would be really excited to see everyone. Oh, Silas definitely wore an interesting choice for an outfit. We've got Matilda here, but we don't have Cody and we don't have her friends yet. I'm going to have her form her own little group. And it's going to be Daisy's friends. Okay, so we are adding... Jasper and we are adding Brenna and we are adding Cody and I will age up Cody in between this episode and the next one there we go so we are gonna start a gathering that way I can control when my friends are here okay so she's going around greeting all of her guests and thanking them for coming to her birthday elaine has put on a huge buffet over here with really good food she's an amazing cook so obviously all the food is excellent quality so there's lots of food for everyone so here's the, her two friends i'm not sure why they're hanging out in the bathroom together maybe they can come out here together and she can build a snow pal with all of her friends and we can introduce them that way. So here is all of little um, Daisy's friends. So we have over here, um, if you guys saw last week's episode, I introduced you to little Jasper. He, what, she met him at school and he's actually such a cutie pie. He is so handsome and he has been getting to know Daisy more and he has definitely become part of their little friend group. And then over here, we also have beautiful Brenna who she met at school and I went and I gave her a CC glow up. And she is seriously so beautiful. Look how cute she is. Those big eyes. Beautiful girl. So, and then obviously we have little Cody. So there is Daisy's little friend group. Her birthday is about to be over though. So I'm going to get her to come over and blow out her candles. I'm going to have her make a wish. Maybe she'll wish for a really successful store one day. So I wonder what she's going to wish for. I guess we will never know. She's blowing out her candles. Everyone is watching. Everyone is so happy. It's such a group effort that they wanted to protect this young girl. And, you know, to be able to see her grow up into a beautiful teenager. And, you know, they've been able to keep her safe. You know, it's an achievement for all of them. Um... I can tell she's going to be, be beautiful, but there's a lot of weird CC happening there. Okay, so we'll try the Master Maker and see how that goes because the whole part of this generation is her creating her own stuff to sell. And as far as traits are concerned, her the Maker trait, and she's also outgoing, so she likes to talk to people, but she really wants to create her own stuff and sell it. She's very creative that way. There we go. Okay, she's going to be gorgeous. I can already tell once I get this weird CC off of her. Okay, so she has aged up. I'm going to jump into Create a Sim so we can take a peek at little Daisy. Oh yeah, she's going to be cute. Let's get all this uh, skin details off of her. Oh, she's going to be so pretty. I can tell already. All right, I am gonna go give little Daisy May a makeover and I will be right the back. All right, you guys. So I just finished Daisy's makeover and I think I was able to get almost all of the skin 
all of the skin details exactly the same. So she basically looks identical to how she did when she was a little girl, only just a little bit more mature. And I think she is so beautiful. She's got such big eyes. Um, but I think it works on her. It doesn't look too weird. Um, I was able to use some of the clothing. Well, not just some, a lot of the clothing from the Journey to Batu pack. If you guys don't like that pack for the gameplay reasons, it's been great for my Decades Challenge and for my Medieval series, just for the items that it comes with. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys like how she turned out. I think she is stunning. So that's her everyday look. Then for her formal, I went for yellow vibes. Uh, but yeah, I think she's so cute. I still wanted her to look like her. So when she slept, she had her hair down and it was wavy um, and long. And then when, you know, her regular day-to-day -day life, she has it up in the piggy tails. So yeah, there is a beautiful little Daisy. I hope you guys like her. So let's go ahead and jump back into the game. Okay, so here is little Daisy in real time. She is so stunning. I absolutely love her. So I'm going to get her to come over and open a present because it is her birthday. Oh, she definitely looked happier about that one. Well, Daisy got one floor stream gardening tools. Okay. I think it's actually really cute that this guy here, look at him, the way he's, I mean, there's a door through her right now, but look at how he looks at her. He's like just sitting there watching her open her gifts, completely enamored with her. And I don't know, I can't really blame him because she is absolutely adorable. Oh, it looks like she's come to visit with him. And I think she's just going to try to you know share her dreams with her friends and just be like you know i am just so excited to be able to start making my own store start making my own items and have a store so she's really excited and sharing that with him so that's really nice what is brenna doing brenna is over here looking fabulous how gorgeous is she like can we just talk about it she is so beautiful. I love her so much. And I'm so excited that um, we got such a great, like such a little great friend group going on here. Okay, so everybody's leaving. She had a really great birthday. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end the group gathering here. That way everyone can go home. We need to, I think she can still actually sleep in her room. The only thing I think that would change in here is maybe these toys and stuff. We'll keep her little bat because that was her little friend though. So I got her this in the last episode because it looked like something that was handmade, woodworked, and I just thought that it was kind of perfect for what she wanted. Now, because she wants to do some creative stuff, I thought I would go ahead and get her a few things for her bedroom. So I think mom and dad gifted her an easel and we'll get her one of the little knitting bags. Since her parents know how much she loves to make things, I thought that they would probably want to get her that. So she's gonna come over and just thank mom for an awesome birthday and say to her, you know, I'm so glad that we were able to spend the the day with all of our friends and family thank you so much for giving me such an awesome birthday and thank you for letting me invite my friends and thank you so much for all of my new eat all of my new gifts i'm so excited to start making things and her mom's gonna be like you are gonna do such a great job if you're anything like us you know we have fought for everything we have i just want you to have the best life ever and if that means you want to start your own business and if you want to make things i support you 100 percent Dad and I are going to do our best to, you know, help you in whatever way we can. And since we've figured out the new way to make money, I think that it's very realistic that mom and dad have been able to gather the 20,000 simoleons that little Daisy gets when she starts out on her track. She is so cute. Now, I don't think Merlin would spoil the birthday party with the really important big news. So he's probably pulled Rosalind aside to be like, 
mom, you know, you can't trust um, Bo. I need to, you know, we, we need to talk, but let's just not ruin Daisy's day. So I'm sure Rosalind was like, I agree. We'll keep it a secret for now. And once uh, Daisy's birthday's over, we will meet up with everyone and tell them what is going on. So it is the next morning. It is Sunday. It is 7.34 in the morning. The house is a mess. I'm going to let her go ahead and eat though because she's pretty darn hungry. And I'm going to help clean up because everyone left their food everywhere. <laughs> Look at the little piggy just asleep in front of the fridge. They're so stinking cute. I love them so much, but they're just too much work in this game with everything else going on. So Daisy's feeling really sad today. You know, she's starting to get older. I think that she's starting to realize that she's probably never going to see Kenji again. And I think that, you know, it's been so many years since she's seen him, but she just really hopes he's okay. She was sad that he didn't come to the birthday. And I think she's just hoping that wherever he is out there in the world, that he will be okay. Oh, look at all of the snow pals from her and her friends. <laughs> Looks like they had some fun in the snow though. So it's the next morning, it is Sunday. We do need to work on her charisma skill, so I'm gonna get her to do that. Uh, the best way I know how is to get her to practice a speech in the mirror. And then after, I'm gonna get her to do some knitting. Merlin has to come over because he wants to talk to Elaine and share with her the information that he's learned. I went to the Realm of Magic and I found out some really interesting information, but I didn't want to spoil Daisy's birthday, so I was waiting to share the information with you till you had a till you had free time. And he's like, "Listen, Bo the Seer is a really bad person." Merlin is sharing all of the information about Bo and explaining to her, you know, Alistair was in on it. It was Alistair's fault that your sister went missing. Missing. you know um, Bo was involved in all of it and they actually know where you are like they've been tracking your mom they've been tracking mom this whole time she was in on it the whole time they purposely let her out so they could find us the magic spell that we casted will keep them out but they know exactly where they are and they're probably working on a plan to either you know get in or get us out so Elaine's like, oh my gosh. She's like, so what do we do? Do we have to leave again? Should we stay? Where are we safest? And he's like, well, right now we're just going to stay put and we're trying to come up with a plan. I've already spoke with everyone, but the main concern now is what are we going to do about Thea? Because Thea is still there. Thea thinks that she can trust uh, Bo and she is right in the heat of it in the realm. So they're trying to figure out how they're going to deal with that situation. So in the meantime, we are just on standby. So that makes Elaine really upset because she's like, my whole life I've been on standby. And she's more upset because she knows that that's going to affect her daughter's life. She is frustrated that she has moved here. She's spent all this time trying to get here. And, you know, her daughter has all these big dreams and, and everything. And sure enough, it's going to be taken away again. Either they have to stay here on lockdown um, or they have to run again. And she's like, I just don't want them to find her anymore. I just want her to be her own person. So Elaine is definitely wondering, like, what's the best thing? Like, should I try to do something? Now she's really concerned and she's probably thinking, you know, what's the, be the best action to, ta to take? So she's going to sit down with all of them. And she's going to say to Lancelot and to Merlin, like, maybe we should send Daisy away. Like, maybe she's not safe here. Like, maybe we should sneak her out in the night. Like, they think she's here. If we can get her away from here, you know, they'll just constantly be trying to get in here. And they won't know that she's escaped. They won't be looking for her. They're going to be trying too hard. They're going to be spending so much time trying to break down the magical barrier. And they won't even know that she's gone. So both Lancelot and Merlin are like, you know, this could actually work. This could be a really good idea. She's so young though. Probably like, she's too young, Elaine. Like she's not gonna be able to survive out on her own like that. She just became a teenager. Like you wanna send her out on her own? And she's like, well, I did it and I was fine. I met you and I fell in love and she's got great friends. Maybe we can convince Cody to go along with her. Let's just figure it out. And Merlin's like, you know, 
I don't want to send my only child away, he said, but that's actually not a bad idea. You know, what if we send the kids out on their own? Cody is a vampire. He can protect her. And we can, you know, smuggle them out at night. We can use a magic uh, potion to, you know, make her invisible for a short period of time. I even heard that there was a clone potion that we could maybe get that might be able to distract them with her, them thinking she's still here for a while. There's a few things we can do, but first we have to get her out of here. So they're like, okay. So everyone is in the process of planning. They are thinking that they will do a midnight escape, get Daisy out of here. Uh, and fortunately, she's got a great group of friends that are going to go along with her to keep her safe and help her along her journey and protect her from the evil Alistair and Bo who want to harm her. So you guys, I think with that, we are going to go ahead and we're going to leave this part here. Daisy was finally able to age up. I wanted it to be a fairly quick episode just where you guys could meet Daisy, see everything. And in the next episode, we will do our escape mission where we get Daisy out on her own, starting her own life and, you know, being able to hopefully be safe because if Alistair and Bo think that she is here and she's really somewhere else then they maybe will stop looking. Let me know what you think of uh, Daisy's makeover. I hope you guys like it. I think she is so cute and I am so excited. I'm curious to hear your thoughts like where should she move to? Where do you think our next escape location should be? Um, I think it's going to be fun so I hope you guys are looking forward to it too and until next time you guys I am going to say bye for now.